How the gym screw? How the gym screw? What's popping, everybody? What's going on, y'all? What's popping, y'all? What's going on? Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Please make sure you smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Y'all, we're going to get into some things. We're going to get into some things. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. And uh, I'm, uh, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, so, yeah. So, in lieu of it being Friday the 13th, I'm guessing today is the day some fuckery and some foolery is supposed to go down or something, I suppose. Because Corby Hulk come out here doing some fuckery and foolery. And I don't like it. Now, he's uh, Corby Holcomb, for, you know, for those that don't know, He's a very outspoken comedian. He goes against the grain. He definitely goes against the grain. Y'all can drop down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can drop in the comments and drop y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all thoughts on Corey Holcomb. Um, to me, he's very outspoken. He's very um, not with the go along, get along. Uh, you know, the, the typical Hollywood uh, celebrity. Um... You know he he's from Chicago. Uh, he he seemingly deals with like regular, uh, you know, uh, regular women, regular females. Um, you know he doesn't really date a lot of Hollywood celebrities or you know black Hollywood celebrities and things like that. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I drop down in the comments and let me know. Um, I believe he's still legally married, if I'm not mistaken. I definitely know um, he has a daughter. And um, he has called his daughter a few choice words. Um, and he has also spoken not too favorably about his child's mother. So he's very, like I said, he's very outspoken. Um, he's very blunt. He's very brash. Um, he speaks what's, you know, speaks what's on his mind. Um, he's really not concerned about being politically correct. Um, and he prides himself on dealing with or dating a certain caliber of women. So they won't expect too much from him. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if he's being real with himself or if he's just selling himself short or if somebody else is getting a short end of the stick. I don't know. But again, his dating life is not my business. That's his personal business. Whoever wants to deal with him, as long as they're two consenting adults, that's fine. What I have an issue with is him putting his hands on women or a woman. Now, I'm not going to say personally I have read any stories or uh, have heard him ha had, have a history of putting hands on women or a female. But this particular incident that just happened to a female comedian um, that he was um, having a comedic roast with, um, allegedly he put hands on her. So definitely, we I can't condone that. We can't condone that, Corey Holcomb. I don't know what you got going on. I don't know if you were a little piece of intoxicated. I don't know if you had a little one too many and it went a little left. But you got to keep your hands to yourself. Now, we done learned that sucker like from kindergarten, first grade, elementary school. Keep your hands to yourself, okay? So we going to get into it. Shout out to Comedy Hype News. Shout out to TMZ. Um, that uh, you know broke the story, but um, he got into it with a female comedian um, at a comedy club, and um, this is what happened. Y'all check this out. Recording live from Hyper Clubhouse in Atlanta for Comedy Hype News. I'm John Alba. Breaking news coming out of Los Angeles: Veteran comedian Corey Holcomb has now been accused of hitting a female comedian at the Hollywood Improv in LA. According to the comedian Christina Payne, Holcomb would become upset during a roast session the other night and will ultimately hit her in frustration. It is unclear if both comedians were set to perform or if they were just there to hang out at the club as many comedians do at times. Payne would take this matter to the public this morning with a post labeling Holcomb as a woman beater. Her caption would read, Now if I was a white woman and this little dick worthless piece of shit hit her, what do you expect to happen? So why should it be any lesser of consequences if it happened to me? I was taught as a child to keep my hands to myself. Evidently, Corey Holcomb wasn't raised right and his mama didn't love him enough to teach him to respect women. In the game of roasting dozens capping, we all know that whomever cries or wants to fight loses and this dickless little boy lost it. God is so good. Corey also had a gun on him saying he was ready for any and everything. He then passes the gun over to at treating with the truth when he thought the police was coming to the Hollywood Improv. Now, a part of that same caption, Payne would also thank several notable comedians for checking in on her after the alleged attack, which included Tiffany Haddish, Dion Cole, 
Earthquake, Brandy Jackson, and D. Ray Davis. Okay, a couple thoughts. Um, first, I didn't really like the fact that she kind of sort of said, you know, if she was a white lady. Um, you know what he had put his hands on her. Disrespect is disrespect. Um, disrespect to me has no color. So, kind of throwing in a race car, it was kind of like, mm, you kind of. <sighs> Let me try lightly with my words because I don't want somebody to go, oh my God, you're a woman. How could you condone this? Again, I don't condone him putting his hands on her. That is totally wrong. He's absolutely wrong. But I don't want her to take this opportunity or the situation to throw a race card in there and, and throw more sauce on it and go if i was a white woman would he have done that he's disrespectful to women whether you white black green yellow purple turquoise cream magenta olive or plum ma'am he put hands on you allegedly that's just not a good look period another thing <sighs> If we could kind of sort of, and again, I'm not trying to tell, again, I'm not trying to tell a victim how to, an alleged victim, I'm not trying to tell an alleged victim how to react or what the, what the proper reaction should be. But if we could please sort of kind of go to like our local precinct and file a report about these things, or maybe the hospital get some type of like medical report, see if there are any injuries and then go to your local precinct to file charges. That would kind of like slow these things down or stop them. Go on the social media to kind of put them on blast. I mean, I guess... But to me, that's kind of sort of just more so wanting to hurt his reputation. Not so much seeking justice for what happened to you, but that's just my perspective. Again, this, these are the thoughts and opinions of Melanie Jones. These are that of Melanie Jones. You don't have to agree with me. Y'all can drop down in the comments and tell me how you would have handled it. I mean, some chicks, I mean, you know, allegedly, I don't... <laughs> I don't know nobody like that But some chicks would have came back with like Cousins and brothers and fathers and shit And uncles and shit like that but that's just me That is just I don't I don't know I mean I don't know People like that. I'm just I, I heard That you know that usually Happens but all that Toting weaponry And putting hands on women it, You bruh You doing a bit much And then I was a little piece of like why she had to get it? Why she had to go on his mother? Why his mother had to catch a stray? But then again, who raised you? I understand her argument. Who raised you? Again, he's a grown man. His mama could have raised him, right? But he could just turn into like, you know what I'm saying? Turn into some other type name. He could have turned into some other type dude. I mean, he said it himself. Yeah, man, I know this about motherfuckers, man. Fuck niggas come from fuck niggas. Fuck niggas come from fuck niggas, man. And the motherfucking fuck nigga act like they ain't no fuck nigga. Nigga, you come from a fuck nigga. Hey. He said it himself. His words, not mine. His words, not mine. So again, I don't know. Maybe it's Pop saying Razor. I mean, is, is, is Pop's in his life? I mean, it's very telling. Put your hands on women. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he saw growing up. I don't know if he had a male in his life to teach him right from wrong. I don't know. I said all that to say, you know, I just didn't. That's the only part. I, I mean, well, that's not the only part. I mean, I definitely take issue with him putting his hands on a woman. You're losing a roast again. You're losing a war of words. So you resort to the physical. Chump move, cop out. Punk move. Absolutely unnecessary. Absolutely un un unacceptable. Straight punk move. You can't use your words, so now you resort to physical. That's crazy. Nah, we don't do that. Use your words. Be a clever linguist. Articulate yourself. Get a thesaurus. Google something. You know what I'm saying? Speaking to the ass. Do something. Learn how to use your words, okay? Physical is never an answer. Especially with, you know, a, a, another comedian, another, you know, a, your co worker. You know what I'm saying? She's in, she's 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 your fellow classmate. She's your colleague. She's in she's in your arena. She's in your immediate environment. You gonna run into her on some of these same circuits. You gonna run into her in some of these same cities. You gonna run into her in some of these same clubs. These same comedy clubs. You gonna run into her. 
this could hurt your reputation with other female comedians. This could hurt your reputation working with other comedians that don't condone that. A lot of your male counterparts, your male comedians, they have sisters that went through domestic violence and physical abuse. They have mothers that went through that. They have aunts that went through that. Allegedly, they might have done that to ex-girlfriends and may not even like that part of themselves. So somebody is going to take issue with that. I mean, I uh, again, I guess she wants to put them on blast. You put hands on me, <laughs> uh, yeah, somebody gonna know about it. I just hope. And again, this gonna sound like, damn, Mel, you a snitch? Nah, don't put, don't put, no, don't put your hands on me. I'm sorry. If I'm a snitch, then fuck it. Label me a snitch. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. And if I'm not gonna get street justice, and I ain't gonna call my uncles and my brothers. And my nephews and my cousins up and my and my and my and my good guy best friends up to handle business, then the Lord gonna have to handle you. I smell a little suit coming. <laughs> I smell a little suit coming. I mean I'm not really too well versed, I'm not really too familiar with this comedian, but um she's worked with the likes of some great comedians out there. Y'all check this out. This knucklehead put his hands on you, a woman. No matter what you did or said, you didn't and will never deserve a male putting his hands on you. This makes me want to go back to my hood days. I'm so hurt for you. This is not okay. Let me know what you want to do. I said what I said. Oh, that nigga's a bitch. From the looks of her Instagram, Payne is a veteran comedian herself who appears to have relationships with Dion Cole, Tiffany Haddish, the late Charlie Murphy, and even Dave Chappelle. According to Payne, there's also video footage of Holcomb allegedly hitting her as she would share on her stories with the message that reads, F. Corey Holcomb and his whole ass mama who don't love him. In the video, she would go on to confirm that the Hollywood improv may have the whole incident on camera. Ooh, I just got the best news ever from the Hollywood improv. They just saw the footage, y'all. As of now, Corey Holcomb has yet to respond to the accusations and Payne has yet to confirm if she will be filing charges over the matter. And Payne has yet to confirm if she will be filing charges over the matter. In looking at Holcomb's career, it appears that he moves as an outsider within the mainstream circuit. Holcomb's style of comedy, which has been harsh towards women, appears to now be placed more into the spotlight as people start to question how far he would go and if this was an isolated incident. We'll keep you posted as more develops. Let's talk about him. I mean, I mean, there you have it. Now, those are some reactions from social media. Those are some reactions from people on social media. And I mean, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Some people are outraged. Some people are appalled. You know, that he put his hands on her, which again is totally unacceptable, unnecessary. Didn't you didn't even have to take it there. You lose in a roast, you walk away. It's not that serious. I mean, you're a comedian. Like things are supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to get that real. You're not a gangster. Calm down. And then again, like I said, he doesn't really fit the typical Hollywood celebrity criteria or mold he is somewhat of a hood comedian he 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 is kind of somewhat outside the box now i pose this question to y'all and again not excusing his behavior i'm not excusing it at all but i am a critical thinker i do think outside the box and sometimes i get a little piece of conspiracy theorist every now and again hear me out y'all follow me walk with me okay walk with me think about this for a second now he's definitely he's totally wrong totally wrong i'm not excusing again I'm, like i said i'm not excusing his behavior not excusing him putting hands on her however could this be one of the allegedly possibly could this be a setup of some sort hear me out a setup of some sort with her being used as bait to help tarnish his image and he took the bait meaning they couldn't get him 
in a compromising sexual situation couldn't get any photos of him attending any ditty parties or any other sleazy salacious underground sex parties or and or orgies in Hollywood couldn't get him photographed or videotaped doing any illegal narcotics so was she being used as bait so now he's this is how we're going to get him or tarnish his reputation or ruin his reputation amongst the black community amongst black women amongst women in general because let's face it he's not doing any a-list movies he's not working with Denzel next week that we can cut that out we're not even looking for him on that I think he was in Soul Plane like I mean let's not be I mean you know (laughs) I like Soul Plane but I mean seriously but no I think it's like on YouTube now for free with commercials so no nobody's like looking for him nobody's checking for him like the box office okay he's not working with Will Smith next Tuesday we're not doing that he's not gonna be in like the next sci-fi movie from Lionsgate that's not what he's doing but I'm just like hear me out y'all walk with me hear me out don't go mail you going left you think it too much i think a lot i do and i'm not being funny i am being being very serious and again not to excuse his behavior but did he take the bait and for you know what i'm saying and find himself in that situation because again he like i said he's very outspoken Corey holcomb you know again prides himself on men going cheat it is what it is y'all y'all women just got to deal with it y'all want us to you know ain't nobody perfect blah, 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 blah. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. he's one of those i could cheat on you but the moment you cheat on me he for you know it's just it's always a done deal you damn you damaged goods it's all oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. you you went outside the grain whatever you know what i'm saying you went out what, what was it you went you went off the reservation he told Alakay in Madagascar, he said, don't go off the reservation. Alakay went off the reservation. He goes into pieces and beds. He ends up in New York. You know what I'm saying? And daddy go to go find him in Madagascar, from Madagascar. You know what I mean? That whole thing. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. I'm really, I'm telling y'all, I'm not being funny at all. It's just giving a little piece of, I mean, I could just, I could just see both sides working at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. I can see both of those angles working at the same time. Allegedly, quote unquote. Again, I'm doing air quotes. Don't get me. And don't send nobody to my house. I swear to God. Ain't nobody. Listen, I said Diddy parties. I just said it one time. Don't send nobody to my house. I swear to goodness, I live in Brooklyn. And I will be over to MDC if anybody knock on my door. And I will ask Diddy what's popping and what's going on. And don't send nobody to my house. I'm not playing with you at all. All right? Thank you. Now, I'm just saying. This is allegedly now. I'm just saying the wheels are turning. Y'all drop in the comments and let me know. I'm not bugging. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm not bugging. Because I just, you know, again, hopefully this was an isolated incident. I don't know. Because then it, it takes, uh, it, sometimes it'd be like this one incident. And then here we go out the woodwork. Then there'll be other women coming out. We're going to see it. We're going to see this snowball effect of, you know, other women coming out, you know, uh, accusing Corey Holcomb of the same type of behavior then we'll see if it's a pattern or not I don't know we have to see but hopefully this is an isolated incident unfortunately this you know this incident shouldn't have happened but it did and now he's being put on blast for it as he should be but again I want her to you know to get justice for what happened to her and I want to see that footage because I don't want it to be some old you know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's a difference between a little piece of like, all right, yo, that's enough. We good. You know what I'm saying? With that little piece of tat versus if he just straight up just, you told Harpo to be me tight. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't want to put levels on it like, oh, are you saying this levels to how bad he should have hit her? No, he shouldn't have put hands on her, period. But I just want to see what, I just want to see the context in which, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the force behind it, the intent behind it. The, you know what I mean? The level of intensity, the level of anger that was behind it. That You know what I'm saying? That was behind that. I, I just want to see that. TMZ, if anybody will get that footage. So we'll be seeing that pretty much soon. <laughs> we'll see that soon enough. But um, again, y'all, Shally, Shally, oh Lord, shout out to TMZ. 
Shout out to um, Tommy Hype News. I love those two um, news sources. Shout out to them. But um, Corey Holcomb, I don't know. We'll see. The jury's still out. Again, you're innocent until proven guilty. But again, in the court of public opinion, brother. Because, I mean, you already was like on the nights with the women anyway. So this might kind of like. You know what I'm saying? My singing. But again, there is a market for everybody. There's a lot of misogynists out there. There's a lot of chauvinists out there. You might just have to head on over that direction because I can't condone putting hands on a woman. I'm sorry. I don't know what you got going on now. You could you consider you could run around, be all the poly you want, poly want a cracker, poly amorous, poly gone. You could be poly whatever you want to be. But putting your hands on people is unacceptable, sir. Okay? And again, you said it yourself. You're putting your hands on people. That must mean you come from some fuckery, okay? Look, man, I know this about motherfuckers, man. Fuck niggas come from fuck niggas. Fuck niggas come from fuck niggas, man. And the motherfucking fuck nigga act like they ain't no fuck nigga. Nigga, you come from a fuck nigga. And get your life in order, sir. Get it in order. Again, like I said, I understand you're innocent until proven guilty. But again, we live in a day and age. We going into 2025. There are cameras everywhere, sir. There are cameras everywhere. And they have that footage. And again, she made a note. <laughs> she made a note to make everyone aware that you were um, carrying a firearm. I hope it's registered. And I hope you are licensed to carry, sir. That's going to be another set of issues for you. <laughs> I don't think this is going to age well. This is just my opinion. However, y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know. On the 10th screw, I appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. Replay crew, shout out to y'all. I appreciate it. Again, Corey, I hope you ain't on tape passing off no weaponry, no pal passing, nobody else. If they ain't got you on tape, child, just say it wasn't you. But she caught me on the counter Wasn't me Saw me banging on the sofa Wasn't me I even had her in the shower Wasn't me She even caught me on camera Wasn't me She saw the marks on my shoulder Wasn't me Heard the words that I told her Wasn't me Heard the screams getting louder Wasn't me She stayed